Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with Andy Chatfield, our lead support technician. How's it going guys? And in this video we are going to do an IP joystick review. Um, so the IP joystick is, uh, can control up to 253 cameras over the network. You can auto search your network for PTZ Optics cameras that are there. And then you can take pan, tilt, and zoom control along with presets and a whole bunch of other things that Andy's going to show off. I uh, really quickly wanted to show the difference between the IP joystick and our analog RS-232 Visco joystick. Um, the Visco joystick is less expensive, it's only $299. It uses RS-232 uh, Sony Visco protocol. You can do Pelco as well. It also has RS-485. So and it's that, 422. And yep. 422. So it's very much an analog um, controller. It has a three-year warranty and it does do presets and camera switching. The IP joystick is a little bit more expensive. It does everything over the network. Um, you can have a maximum of 253 cameras. It does support presets and tours, and it has a two-year warranty. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right into our presentation. Andy, we're going to start by, um, I guess, explaining the, the joystick here. Yeah, so I just want to let you guys know, as soon as you power on the joystick, um, as long as you have it hooked up to your network, it should automatically find a dynamic IP address for you. Um, the one that pops up for us right now is 192.168.111.177. So if you will take that IP address and type it into a web browser, you should be able to gain access to the IP interface for this joystick, which will be the easiest way to go about setting it up with the PTC Optics cameras. So um, as you can see here, the login page, this is the login page. It's just admin as the username and blank for the password. You should be able to log in now. Okay, and this, go ahead and do that. This is going to take you to um, the, the IP interface of the camera. So you should see uh, a green box on the left, the blue box in the middle, and the red box on the right. The green box is going to be available cameras that your, your camera can find, basically via their OnVIF protocol. And um, once, you, once you hit search in that green box, it's going to find every camera available. You can then go through and add those cameras to the joystick itself. So we have four PTZ Optics cameras. We're just going to hit Add All and add them all to the IP joystick. And now we want to be able to differentiate between them aside from IP address. So we're going to give each one a camera address of one, two, th three, and then four. And then Andy, I, do ha I have logged into one of the PTZ Optics cameras here. So I didn't know if you wanted to show this part. Yeah, sure. So um, this video is assuming that you guys have worked with the PTZ Optics cameras before and you know how to get into this IP interface. But in order for this joystick to find your cameras, you have to turn OnVIF on in the IP interface for the cameras. You do not have to turn on OnVIF authentication. That would actually cause some conflicts with the IP joystick. You want to be sure to just turn OnVIF on and then you'll be good to go. So. At this point, Paul has added the, the four cameras in the IP interface for the joystick. We just want to um, we address them all. So now I should be able to go back to my joystick here, and I'm just going to hit search. And it should find all four of those cameras. So hopefully you guys can see this behind us. Uh, we also have another view here. It's a little better. Yeah, so you can see it's search cam. I have one through four, so I have... 111.85. Come on. I have 88. Eight. I have 84. And I have 83. I know 85 is one of the ones we have live. So once I pick one that I want to use, I'm just going to hit escape. And it should connect to that camera. So I'm connected to that camera. That would be the one uh, pointing at the fire extinguisher there. I'm just going to start zooming and panning around and um, set a couple presets and stuff like that. So this is my basic pan speed here. I can go a little quicker if I want. I can go really quick if I want. Um, I tend to move it pretty, pretty slowly. So if I want to go ahead and just set that as a preset, I would do preset, one, and then enter. And I'm just going to move away from that spot. And I'm going to do shot, one, enter. And that should take me back to that preset that I set. You can do this for um, many, many presets with the IP joystick. You can do this between cameras. 
Um, so if you want to switch to different cameras, like I'm on my 8.5 right now, I'm just going to hit next in this bottom left here. And it, sh it should connect to the next camera I have available. Yep, that, that will give you 88 there. That's 88. It's in our back. Back of the shop. Back in the shop, yep. And then you can see I have full PTZ control. Now there's buttons next to you, next to your um, joystick as well, Andy. I see you have focus and zoom and things like that. Yep. So the PTZ optics can be controlled for all of these parameters, but in order to control the focus of the camera, you'd have to put the camera into uh, manual focus mode, which can be done using the IR remote control and just hit the manual button. Um, if you want to use the iris, you would just have to go into the on-screen display of your PTZ optics camera and set the um, the AE section for the iris to be in either iris mode or manual mode, and then you'd be able to control the iris with those buttons, and the zoom should just work inherently. All right, great. Well, that was actually a six-minute video, Andy, if you can believe that. Um, I think we showed everything we wanted to show off. Um, PT joysticks there. Here's the back of the unit. As you can see, there's a network jack. Really, you just need to plug it to network and power. Yep and um, have all your cameras set to, you know, OnVIF enabled inside of the, uh, exactly. the IP interface. You also need to make sure you have the latest firmware for the cameras, uh, which Andy has videos on. So this is only applicable if you have a PTZ Optics Generation 1 camera. Um, we have a separate firmware that you would need to upgrade in order to have the OnVIF um, functionality that will let the camera work with this joystick. Um, the other thing is all the G2 cameras, as long as you have one that you bought after May of 2016, um, you should be good in that regard too. Every camera should be shipping with the OnVIF um, firmware on it. So you, you should only have to upgrade the firmware if you have a G1 camera or you have a G2 that you bought before yeah. May. And a little tip, you know, if you don't need a joystick, there is a, a program called the OnVIF Device Manager, which is absolutely free. Yep. Um, an OnVIF Device Manager, and you can just do that right from your desk. We have open source control software you can use. There's a lot of stuff you can do. But this IP joystick is really nice if you've got a, multiple cameras on your network and you want to just be able to control them. Well, plus it has the analog feel. It's, um, it's a lot harder to sit there and pan, tilt, and zoom your camera and do presets and stuff with a programmer using the mouse to click and drag and stuff like that. Using an actual joystick is a lot nicer and easier for people who are used to working with cameras. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a nice day. See you guys.